I'm such a weirdo. I wash my hands like 10 times a day. I'm always putting on hand sanitizer. If I see hand sanitizer anywhere near me, I am like pumping it, squirting it. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't like when my hands are dirty. So, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but I'm back. So I've gotten a lot of requests lately to do a skincare routine video. I've actually had requests coming in for like half a year now. But honestly, my skincare routine is not that crazy. It's not that serious. And I didn't want to come on here and show you guys some like whack skincare routine. And then you're like, that's it. What the heck? But I've gotten so many more requests lately. And I'm like, all right, you guys want it? I'll show you what I do. So I'm here today to show you everything I do. I have a lot of tips, a lot of tricks to my skincare routine is not expensive. So if you're looking for that here, you're not gonna find it. Um, but I am gonna go over a lot of other things besides skincare and besides products, things that you can do to help your skin in other ways without using actual product. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we're gonna get started with this video. All right, so I have um, some notes here because I didn't wanna like forget what I was gonna talk about. So before I even get into showing actual product, I'm gonna go ahead and go over just some day-to-day -day tips and tricks that you can use without using actual products. So I think that's pretty cool, um, especially for all of you guys out there who can't afford super expensive skincare right now. I know that it can get really, really, really high up there and it's just kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So. Here's some things that you can do without having to spend a lot of money. So number one I'm gonna go over is diet. If you don't have a clean diet, you guys, you're not gonna have good skin. I'm sorry to be so blunt like that, but it's really true. Um, I notice that when I'm eating a lot of fried foods, a lot of fast foods, a lot of just things that are processed too, um, I don't have great glowing skin. It's sad, it sucks. I know we all like to have, you know, yummy deep fried oreos with whipped cream and chocolate sauce like I, trust me like i feel you 1000 percent but we definitely have to limit those types of foods in our diet if you do want really healthy glow from within skin so that's my number one tip is just kind of try to regulate a little bit what you're eating i know it's hard and we all get carried away especially right now it's the holidays you know enjoy yourself definitely but um, when it's an everyday thing, it is going to determine the, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's going to determine the status of your skin, okay? All right, so number two is washing your face. So, girls, all right, I've been there. We come home from a night out, we're drunk, we want to eat our Taco Bell whatever we get and we go to sleep and then we wake up the next day we have makeup on still it's just don't do it just don't do it i know it happens sometimes you know but 95 percent of the time you need to wash your makeup off i, I would no 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 i would say 98 percent of the time you need to wash your makeup off before you go to sleep okay this is something I used to not do at all. And then I started looking at people who I really admired in the skincare industry and who had really amazing skin. And they would always talk about this. And I was like, all right, this is something that I can do. It doesn't cost me money. I find that when I wake up and I have like a fresh face after I've done like, you know, um, a cleanser and a toner and a moisturizer, you don't have to do like a crazy skincare routine at night. You know, it's not that serious unless you want it to be. That's all you. But I think just a simple cleanser, tone, and moisturize before you go to sleep at night will really help you and your skin improve. Also, um, you want to wash your skin twice a day. Now, I always do morning and night, but, you know, sometimes there are times throughout the day where I really feel like I just need to wash my face. Like, you know, I, th I think we've kind of all been there. So if you feel like that, go for it. You know what I mean? As long as it's not over drying your skin or making your skin irritated. I think you're all you're all good just wash your face before you go to sleep at night you guys makeup or not especially if you have makeup on i know sometimes it happens we come home late we're tired we're exhausted but just get enough energy to please to go to the bathroom and wash your face because it's very important okay 
All right, so number three is stress and your friends and the people you hang out with, okay? Recently, I had to cut somebody out of my life who was in my life for a very long time. And I've noticed that I kind of just glow from within now. I'm happier, you know, and I just have this, I feel like, natural glow to my skin. And I know that might kind of sound a little weird or maybe stupid to some of you, but I personally believe that it's true. If you cut off people in your life who are negative, who are toxic, who bring you down, um, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to be happier and you're going to have that glow from within. So um, that's just a little tip. I'm not really going to go any more in depth about it. Um, and I think besides that, I don't think anybody deserves to have bad people around them. I know it's hard with, you know, like coworkers or family, but really limit your time with those people if you can. And you'll notice a um, difference in your mood and your skin and you're just gonna look happier and better and number four the last step i have or the last tip i have i guess is sunblock Whoo! okay this is a product i understand that this is another one i used to never do i used to never wear sunblock i used to only you know have it in my makeup like when my like my foundation or whatever like my concealer maybe but i never actually or sunblock like on its own and I'm gonna go into what I use and all that in a little bit um, but literally sunblock will change your life I, I honestly truly believe that every single person male or female needs to be wearing sunblock every day okay I'm not gonna really talk anymore about sunblock until like later on in the video um, I'll go into more of like detail and stuff when I talk about the product I use and why I think sunblock is important and how many times I think you should be wearing it during the week and why I think you should be wearing it and when you should be wearing it because I don't think you should only be wearing sunblock when it's sunny or you're going to be outside. So I'll kind of go into that in a little bit. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the actual products that I use. You guys, um, this isn't super extravagant. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all the products that I use now. So let's go ahead and jump into that part of the video. Okay, so I have all my products here and I'm gonna show you guys everything I use um, from like my actual like cleansing and moisturizing and toning all the way up until like maybe if I wanna do like a little spa day and I wanna do a mask, all that kind of stuff, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with cleanser. Um, because that's usually the first thing I do. So this is the cleanser I'm using right now. It's by Neutrogena. I love Neutrogena. Like seriously, they're amazing. Um, this is the oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit foaming scrub. And this is what it looks like. I kind of switch out my cleansers every once in a while. I've used this before, but I don't know if I'll repurchase it again. Like if I need a new cleanser. Um, it works really well. I love how it smells. It smells like grapefruit. So if you like grapefruit, you're going to like this. Um, I also like how it has little exfoliating beads in it, but it's not too harsh on the skin. Like the freaking St. Ives scrub, like whew, that stuff, like mm -mm. So it gives you a little bit of exfoliant because I love to exfoliate, like I'm being honest, um, but it's not too harsh. So that's why I really like this stuff. Um, I find that it actually does help with acne too. It says it has a salicylic acne treatment in it. Um, I don't really have a problem with breakouts, so, but, um, yeah, I noticed that I don't break out with this, which is good. And yeah, so far I really like it. Um, as you can see, I've used quite a lot. So I really like this one. I would, I would say try it out. If you see it, I got mine at Target. I think it's like under 10 bucks. So yeah. Okay. So now on to toner. Um, I have been using the Pixi Glow Tonic toner. It looks like this. Now, to be honest, um, I've barely been using this. Like I just got it. It's pretty new. I've never used this product before. And um, like, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not really a huge fan and I'm pretty kind of like sad about that because I've heard great things about the brand Pixi. I think they're gonna have some other products that I'm really gonna enjoy. I actually do wanna try some of, of their other products, 
but this just isn't really doing it for me. I usually buy the Neutrogena toner. I can't think of what it's called right now, but it's in like this blue container. It's freaking amazing. So um, compared to that one, I ran out of it. I picked this up because I've, I've heard great things about the brand Pixie. So I was like, all right, cool, I'll get this. Um, but compared to the two, I like my Neutrogena one better. So again, I can't think of like the actual name of it, but it's in like this blue container. It's like under 10 bucks. It's freaking amazing. I love how it smells and it works great. This was like, I think almost $20. It was like, I think 18. Um, and it's cool. I like it. it. It does the job, but I feel like my Neutrogena one does a better job and it's cheaper. So that's just me personally, but I have heard great things about this brand Pixie. I want to try some more of their skincare stuff because, again, people rave about it. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. Okay, so now on to moisturizer. You guys are going to freak out. This is literally like a $3 moisturizer. See, I have tried a lot of different skincare products. I've tried things that like literally $70 for like a container of moisturizer and I've tried things that are $3 for a container of moisturizer and why do I like my $3 container of moisturizer better? But this is the Revive and Renew Alpha Hydroxy Plus Aloe Radiance Cream. This is what it looks like. I'm honestly not sure where I got this. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, this is really nice, you guys. I'm like totally running out. I have like none left i'm like scraping i like this one because it had um what did it have in it um where's that ingredient hyaluronic acid the reason i really like this moisturizer is because it doesn't have any alcohol in it a lot of moisturizer and a lot of skincare products have a lot of alcohol in it also that toner the neutrogena toner it's also alcohol free that's huge that's major does this one have alcohol in it i didn't even look no this one doesn't thank god oh my gosh I would literally be so sad. Yeah, make sure you check the ingredients. You don't want any of your skincare to have alcohol in it, guys. It's just gonna dry your skin out, okay? So that's just kind of like a number one tip. It doesn't matter if it's $3 or it's $300. Like, please, just no alcohol in the skincare, you know? But um, yeah, I really like this. I can't really say too much about it. It does the job, it moisturizes, it hydrates. It gives me like a radiance glow. Um, my professor would always be like, you're always so glowy. And like, cause I never wear, I never wear makeup to school guys. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's definitely this. Uh, I really like it. Again, it's only like three bucks, you guys. Just pick it up, try it, see if you like it. It's really cheap. I enjoy it. And that's basically all I gotta say. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about sunblock now. So this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, and it has SPF of 55. It's lightweight, fast absorbing, and water resistant for 80 minutes. This is what it looks like. I got mine at Target, and I actually really like this sunblock. The only thing I don't like about the sunblock is it burns your eyes if it gets into your eyes, but I feel like I've never tried a sunblock in my entire life that doesn't do that. So just be careful. Um, one day I was like in a rush to school and I was doing my skincare on the way to school. Don't do that, I don't recommend it. But I accidentally got some of this in my eye. My freaking eye was burning for like 20 minutes. So just be careful. Um, if you guys know of a sunblock that doesn't burn your eyes, let me know in the comments. I always use sunblock, dude. Like, if you're not using sunblock, like, why? I wear sunblock even on days like this. Like, you guys see how gloomy it is outside? Like, I still put on sunblock today, okay? Even if I'm gonna be inside all day, I still put on sunblock because your skin is so sensitive, okay? So we need to protect it at all costs. Like this is what will prevent your aging. This is what will prevent you from getting fine lines. This is what's gonna prevent you from looking older. I'm serious, you guys. If I don't go anywhere, I put on sunblock still. Like I, it, it's just, it's gonna prevent, it's gonna, <laughs> can't talk, I'm getting like too passionate. It's gonna prevent your skin and protect your skin from any any harmful rays even from the freaking lights inside so please wear sunblock i put it like all the way down to here too because your neck can start to get like wrinkles and age as well so i usually like to bring it like down to here maybe um because i want to prevent all of this from aging please use sunblock i got this at target you can use whatever you want just use a sunblock okay i know a lot of people are like well there's spf in my foundation it's not enough okay please 
wear SPF. Thank you. I'm gonna talk about the mask I use. This is the one I'm using right now. Um, again, I kind of like to switch out my masks as well, just kind of depending on what I'm looking for, but I just used this one yesterday. So this is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Rejuvenating Cucumber Plus Pink Salt Clay Mask. This is what it looks like. And this one is going to instantly detox, clear pores, and renew skin. And I literally feel like that. Like, I literally feel like I have no pores today and yesterday too. And it says it's for all types of skin. I, I wouldn't really know, you guys. My skin is pretty normal. Like, I can get oily, but that's usually if, like, I've been wearing makeup all day or I'm sweating or something. But um, I'm not really dry, so pretty normal. I got this, I think, at, like, Target or something. They have tons of different Freeman masks. They have, like probably one for your skin type or what you're looking for. I've tried a bunch of different ones. I've never really had problems with them or found that I didn't really like them. But yeah, the only thing is, it says it's a 10 minute mask. I totally feel like it is a 10 minute mask. One time I left it on for a little too long. It made my skin a little, mm, like I felt like it was getting a little sensitive. Like I needed to wash my face. So I would just be kind of aware of that if you are gonna get it. So yeah, this is what I've been using right now. I like it. I feel like it works not much to say it definitely clears my pores so i'm happy and then so right after i go in with this mask what i do is i do a more like hydrating mask okay so this is gonna kind of like clean my skin it actually has like these little beads in it too that i feel like are a little like exfoliating so then i go in with something really hydrating right so you guys are gonna probably be like what the heck sarah like what are you about to show us yeah, girl, I use coconut oil, like straight coconut oil on my face. So I got this at Winco. It's just pure refined coconut oil. I use it to cook too. It's like super like low. But I literally, after this baby, I just wash it off with warm water, okay? And then I just go straight in with some coconut oil and I just slather it on my face and I let it sit um, probably for like at least 10 minutes. Um, it just feels good. It kind of makes my skin more hydrated, more plump, more yummy looking i don't know you guys i honestly i don't even know where i got the idea to do this i think i like saw it online or something but i really just like putting straight coconut oil on my face to just kind of do like a hydrating mask but like i do recommend to do like something that's gonna like detox your face and then do this um unless i guess you have like really dry skin but i like to do these two together i never do one without the other like ever I just feel like it's a really good combo and then after i do these i'll go in and then i'll wash my face with this stuff and then i'll continue on with like the toner and the moisturizer and things like that because this is like really thick so you want to like make sure you wash it off with like your cleanser so i think that's it i think that's all i have to share with you guys hopefully i didn't miss anything Anyways, if I feel like I did, make sure you look in the description box down below. I'll add like some more notes or whatever. I will list all these products there too. So if you want to just go and screenshot it and you want to like try anything, that's where you can do that. So you're not like, wait, what did she say to you? So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you share it. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Show some love. Anything that you feel like you want to do. I love you.